Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be using my brand new Anime Girl ashtrays for the first time, which I am very excited to do, to say the least. While these ashtrays look fantastic, I don't know how well they're actually going to work as well ashtrays. And so as such, that's exactly what this video is about. Today, I'm going to be showcasing all of the Anime Girl ashtrays that I have. And then after that, I'm going to be smoking a cigarette, using all of the ashtrays for the first time, and I'm going to be letting you all know how they all are as well. Ashtrays. A couple months ago, my brother asked me who some of my favorite anime characters were. And I told them. And I also asked them, why they were asking me that. It's pretty out of character for my brother to ask me who my favorite anime characters are. And so I was curious to find out why they were asking. I was thinking maybe they wanted some recommendations for new anime or something like that kind of thing. Not exactly sure. I really enjoy anime, but my brother really enjoys anime. Maybe they were just looking for new recommendations. I wasn't sure at that time, but they responded by saying, it's a secret. And so that's set in stone that they probably had some project or something like that that they were gonna give me as a present later on down the line. And I was 100% correct. On my birthday, they gave me a box full of three Anime Girl ashtrays and two Anime Girl coasters. And my brother had them all custom made by an acquaintance. And to say the least, I really like them. I really do like all these ashtrays. I think they look fantastic, to say the least. I think they're going to perform really well as ashtrays, but I don't know anything for sure, in all honesty. I'm looking forward to using these for the first time in today's video, and I'm looking forward to finding out just how good these actually are as ashtrays. But before I go ahead and actually get to smoking, and before I go ahead and actually get to letting y'all know how good my Anime Girl ashtrays actually are as ashtrays, I suppose first off I should probably go ahead and showcase everything my brother was kind enough to give me as a birthday present. And I think I'm going to start off with the coasters that they were kind enough to give me. My brother was kind enough to gift me two different coasters. Well, they're both the same shape and size and overall background color coasters, and they both have a sort of cork background to them. I definitely have to say to make sure nothing gets scratched up or anything like that kind of thing, but they both have two different characters on them. The first ashtray has a character from Yuru Camp. In specific, it's got Shimmerin from Yuru Camp. Yuru Camp is my favorite anime of all time. It's a camping anime. It's a slice of life sort of cute girls doing cute things anime. And it's just really wholesome. It's just like one of those like healing anime kind of thing. You're just watching a bunch of characters go camping and having a great time kind of thing. It's one of those anime I just like to turn on whenever I'm not having such a great time and I want to watch something happy. And it's just a great anime to watch. I've watched Yuru Camp like three times. It's one of my most rewatched anime. I don't tend to rewatch anime too much by any means, but Yuru Camp, I just keep revisiting it the entire now three seasons. I, I, I keep revisiting the entirety of Yuru Camp like just once a year at this point, and it's just a great show. And I'd have to say, Shimmerin is my favorite character from Yuru Camp. Well, she's not my favorite character uh, from an anime as a whole. She is my favorite character from Yuru Camp, and uh, I'm very thankful to have this coaster, and uh, I've been using it every single day, and I am a fan of it, to say the least. And the great thing about this coaster is that my water bottle that I usually have in my room, which is this one right here, which is a Nalgene water bottle, fits absolutely perfectly on this coaster. It fits literally perfectly. There's no overhang or anything like that. So this coaster is exactly what I need. The second coaster that my brother was nice enough to give me has some panels from Bochi the Rock, the manga of Bochi the Rock on it, not from the anime Bochi the Rock, because of course the, the, the anime wouldn't, I do suppose, have panels. So the panels are all from the actual manga itself, but I'm a pretty big fan of Bochi the Rock. I thought it was a pretty amusing anime to watch, and my brother is an even bigger fan of Bochi the Rock than I am, in all honesty. And, um, Excuse me, I gotta take a sip of water. My throat is a little bit sore today. My nose has been running just a little bit as well, so I'm just gonna take a sip of water real quick. But my brother's, excuse me, excuse me, my brother is a really big fan of uh, Bochi the Rock, 
which is an anime all about um, a guitarist with massive social anxiety trying to get in a band and trying to be successful and trying to overcome their social anxiety. And the humor it has is absolutely hilarious. I think it's one of the best comedy anime to come out in years, frankly put. And I really love the comedy. I love the visual comedy. I love the animation style. I love what they're doing with it. I, I, I love just what they did with Bochi the Rock as an anime as a whole. And while uh, Bochi or none of the really the characters from Bochi the Rock or any are in my like top 10 favorite anime characters of all time, Bochi the Rock is one of my favorite anime as a whole. And since my brother is such a big fan of Bochi the Rock, even though I didn't mention it to them when they were asking, I think that's why they decided to have some Bochi the Rock on a coaster and everything like that. And as a whole, I've been using this coaster as well, and I'm a big fan of it. And this has a pretty funny scene. She's got a certain face going, and they're having to scrape off her face to get her back to normal and everything like that kind of thing. It's just too dang funny. I really need to actually read the manga for Bochi the Rock, in all honesty. I don't read much manga, but I probably should, uh, to be completely honest with you. But I do suppose now that I've covered both of the coasters that my brother was nice enough to give me, I suppose now I should probably go ahead and cover the ashtrays. And all of the ashtrays have a backing of cork just to make sure they don't scratch everything up or anything like that kind of thing. And they're all just glass ashtrays with four different cigarette holes just like that. And they're all the same size as well. And they all have a different design printed on the bottom that you can see through the glass right here. The first ashtray that I'm showing y'all is probably my favorite ashtray that my brother gave me as a whole. It's got Mau Mau from the Apothecary Diaries uh, as the design itself. Uh, Mau Mau is the main character from the anime The Apothecary Diaries, which is like a mystery sort of doctor sort of anime, I guess. It's kind of hard to describe. It's sort of like a mystery doctor drama, but at the same time, it's it's not like that. It's not like, uh, well, well, Scrub's more of a comedy, but it's not like, uh, what is it? Uh, there's some like doctor TV shows and everything. Like, it's not like the Western doctor TV shows, but it's kind of in the same vein kind of thing. I do suppose really the right way of putting it. But Mau Mau is the main character, and Mau Mau, I gotta admit, one of the most relatable main characters from an anime. She's just like, yo, bro, I don't want to deal with this stuff kind of thing. This is a pain in my butt. Um, <laughs> not entirely relatable, of course, but she's a much more amusing character than not. And sometimes I, I hear things like she's thinking in the anime, and I'm like, you know what? That's so real. I don't normally say that, but this is she's a character that makes me say that kind of thing and a uh, good character to say the least my brother's a really big fan of the apothecary diaries as well and i think that's why they opted to have mau mau on one of my ashtrays but here's the thing mau mau is actually not just on one of my ashtrays uh she's actually on two so on this one we can see a panel from the um apothecary diaries manga and we can see right here is just uh, one of uh, the main character's friends right there and it just says like uh, you, it stinks right there, and then you set it right there. And I think my brother might have asked specifically for this panel because cigarettes, which I just think is hilarious. Like, it stinks? Yeah, yeah maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, but I think it's just too dang funny to say the least. And uh, as a whole, I'm a pretty big fan of this ashtray as well, of course. The third and final ashtray, now I will admit, not all of them are, not, not all of the designs have anime girls on them. One of them does have an anime guy on it as well, and it's my favorite anime guy character. My favorite male anime character is Zine from Freerun Beyond Journey's End. Zine is a priest from the anime Freerun Beyond Journey's End, which is a sort of uh, fantasy uh, journey anime. I'd have to say a fantasy. It's, it's, a, it's a journey anime through a fantasy world. And Zine is a character that appears for a couple episodes and then disappears. But for the time that he's in the anime, he is chain smoking cigarettes and he is talking about how much he wants himself an older lady. Zine is a man of culture. Let me tell y'all what, he not only smokes cigarettes, he also drinks heavily, he also gambles a lot, and he wants a MILF. I'm not joking, that's entirely canon by the way. Uh, Zine is like one of the best anime characters of all time and he is by far my favorite male anime character in all honesty. He is a huge baller to say the least and I am a huge fan of this ashtray as well. Before I go ahead and actually get a cigarette all lit up though, I am gonna just go ahead and let you guys know what my favorite anime character of all time actually is. As some of y'all 
might be curious. I'm not exactly sure, though. But my favorite anime character of all time is from the anime Planetes, which is a sci-fi anime all about cleaning up space debris in space. And my favorite character from that anime, and my favorite anime character as a whole, is Fee Carmichael. Uh, she's from, like, Richmond, Virginia, canonically, and she smokes hella cigarettes, canonically. Um, and she's just absolute goaded character. Favorite anime character of all time. Uh, great anime character, to say the least. And uh, I was, I asked my brother, I was like, why isn't Fee Carmichael on any of these uh, ashtrays or, or coasters kind of thing? I'm like, you know, I've talked about Fee Carmichael to my brother before. I'm like, this is like the best anime character of all time. So they know Fee Carmichael is my favorite anime character. And they're like, yeah, couldn't find any, couldn't find any. <laughs> <coughs> the person my brother commissioned to make all of this stuff uh, if I remember correctly, my brother said that it was impossible to find any of the manga for Planetes. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. I don't even know if they ever sold that manga here, so that is totally understandable. But that's everything my brother was kind enough to give me. And uh, as a whole, I'm a very big fan of it all. I do suppose now, without further ado, I should probably go ahead and get a cigarette all lit up though. Today, I'm gonna be smoking an American Spirit Black Cigarette. In fact, today I'm actually gonna be smoking my last American Spirit Black Cigarette that is in this pack right here. Got a little bit of a sore throat today, so it might not be a great idea to smoke an American Spirit Black, but it's perfectly fine, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this pack all opened up. And we can see, technically speaking, there isn't just one cigarette in there. There's actually two, but this is not an American Spirit Black. It's a uh, cool, luxe, bold cigarette that I just threw in the pack just to not have to carry around too many packs with me or anything like that kind of thing. But this one is indeed an American Spirit Black. Let's go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket real quick. But before I go ahead and actually get my cigarette all lit up, I first off want to test fit the cigarette in the little holes right here. And we can see with the holes right there, it doesn't actually hold my cigarette in place. Those are some points down just for that, but it does stop the cigarette from kind of moving back and forth. And it does stop the cigarette from moving like side to side and everything like that kind of thing. So while I might not actually hold my cigarette in place, that's really not a big deal. And that's only like half a point off and everything like that kind of thing, not a big deal one bit just testing all of them they're all pretty much the exact same so it is nice that all of them work the exact same it's not inconsistent or anything like that kind of thing which is appreciated and i'm thinking with how deep this ashtray is as well i'm thinking the ash is going to have a decent amount of area to kind of move around and i don't think it's going to blow out super easily although it is, it is a little bit windy today but if i was just doing this video inside i think that this ashtray would work especially well just because it's really deep i think it's uh big enough where the ash is not going to kind of fly everywhere and everything like that kind of thing all around the ashtray, but not in the ashtray. But there's only really one way to find out just how good or just how bad this ashtray actually is. And that's to actually smoke a cigarette and use it for the first time. Just wanted to test that real quick. You can see it doesn't actually stay upright like some ashtrays, but it does still work a little bit better than not. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and put that ashtray down on the table in front of me. I think first off. <coughs> oh, God, I really should have brought some paper towels with me or something like that kind of thing. My nose is a little bit runny, but let's go ahead and take a little bit of a sip of water as well. And now that I have done that, let's go ahead. Oh man, right, get off camera so I can wipe my nose just a little bit. Alrighty though, without further ado, let's go ahead and get my American Spirit Black cigarette all it up. And let's go ahead and get to using my Anime Girl ashtrays for the first time. I'm going to be trying to use all three of the ashtrays. So not technically only Anime Girl ashtrays, but also Anime Guy ashtray. But I'm going to be trying to use all three of them. I've got them all laid out in front of me right now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm saying, I'm saying. right off the bat, much better than not. One odd thing with my sore throat is that I notice I don't cough when I'm actually smoking cigarettes. It's only afterwards I cough. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's too funny. But as a whole, the first to the cigarette, definitely pretty good and definitely a little bit rougher than not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not quite approaching where I need to ash yet. I think I'll get there with another hit or two. A 
before I ash, I'm gonna try to let the wind die down just a little bit. It's quite windy today and I wanna make sure I'm able to actually get the ash in the ash tray to really see how well it works and everything like that. If the wind is blowing everything everywhere, it doesn't really work as well, though, does it? Well, I think this is probably as good an opportunity as any. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm just gonna hold this cigarette just close to the bottom and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap ash just like that. And there we go. Just went right in the ashtray. The ash did fly a little bit, but it kind of hit the sides and then bounced right back in. So I can definitely say the high walls of this ashtray are doing its job quite well. They're doing their job quite well. I'd have to say as a whole, this is definitely a pretty good indoor ashtray. Not certain about it being a really good outdoor ashtray. I definitely wanna, wouldn't want to use these uh, ashtrays outdoors too much. I'd be afraid it would ruin the print on the bottom, but it does appear to work better than not. The wind is kind of wisping the actual ash around just a little bit and whatnot. I do kind of feel like it's gonna fly out when next time I get a really big breeze, but it ain't no biggie. These ashtrays are not really meant to be used outside, so I'm not really using them in their ideal environment as of this moment in time. But actually, I'm getting with hit with a little bit of a gust of wind right now, and actually the ash, it's not flying out of the ashtray. It's doing pretty good in all honesty. Wow, I am honestly impressed. Not too bad. And just putting it down just like that, I'm just gonna leave it there just for a moment. I'm gonna see if the bottom of the glass starts browning or anything like that kind of thing due to the heat. Not seeing anything like that. The glass does seem to be pretty good. There's definitely some ashtrays where you use it and you put a little bit of heat and it starts browning and stuff like that kind of thing. These ashtrays are not like that. I am a little bit scared that when I actually stub my cigarette out that the actual design below the ashtray might heat up a little bit and might go a little bit brown or start kind of peeling off just a little bit kind of thing. I really hope that doesn't happen, but there's only one way to find out and that's for me to actually stub my cigarette out. I'm not gonna stub my cigarette out though because I still got plenty of my cigarette left, but Hopefully, the ashtrays are just fine after uh, stubbing my cigarette out. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to ruin my my brother's uh, birthday present by any means. But these are ashtrays; they're meant to be used. Let's go ahead and use my Zyn ashtray now. Let's go ahead and just tap ash once again, and yeah, it worked pretty good once again. Just went right in. There were some flakes of ash that kind of just bounced off the sides. Nothing really actually went out of the ashtray. As a whole, I'd have to say, performance-wise, these ashtrays are very solid. Yeah, cannot complain. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Hopefully, that will do as a screenshot. We will find out. My throat's feeling a little bit sore now that I'm continuing to smoke, but that's perfectly fine. You know, I gotta get my nicotine, and I could definitely go for some nicotine right now, and I'm enjoying my nicotine, to say the least. There is one ashtray I have not used quite yet, though, so let's go ahead, and instead of tap ashing, let's actually just kind of go like that and just kind of roll it on the bottom, and that worked pretty well as well. Collected all the ash quite well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Just looking at it, will the ash come off easily? It will indeed come off easily. Uh, one thing I am a little bit worried about about these ashtrays is if I use them to any large extent. I am a little bit worried that uh, if I need to wash them in the sink or anything like that kind of thing, that I will damage the print on the bottom. So I'm definitely gonna have to be very careful when I'm cleaning them. That's really the only concern I have about the ashtrays. Other than that, they're working great, frankly put, and even outside where I am right now, even in the breeze I'm in right now, this ashtray has been holding the ash I put in it for the last couple minutes or so. The ash has not, uh, has not flown out. I think some of the little bits of ash have, but the actual big amounts of ash has not flown out. They're working really good as both indoor and outside ashtrays. I definitely um, wouldn't want to leave them out in the rain though. 
because there is paper on the bottom that's like epoxied on there. I'm not sure how exactly it was put on there, but it was put on there somehow. But definitely would not want to leave them outside. Definitely gonna have to be careful when washing, but definitely better ashtrays than not. <sighs> I gotta give my brother credit. And I was about to ash this down here. No, 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 I got like three ashtrays in front of me to choose from. Why am I trying to ash somewhere else? I got like ashtrays on ashtrays on ashtrays in front of me right now. But I gotta give my brother credit. They know what I like. They do know what I like. They know I like my cigarettes and they know I like my anime. What can I say? And uh, they know I needed some coasters as well. I did be needing some coasters because I always have my water bottle in my room. I always need something to put my water bottle on and the coaster is a nice place to put a water bottle. So they knew I needed some coasters as well. To say the least, I am very appreciative of their gift. Uh, big shout out to my brother. Not gonna dox them or anything like that kind of thing. I'm just gonna say a big shout out to my brother. But um, yeah, very thankful for their gift. And uh, the ashtrays are much better than not to say the least. I really like them. <sighs> the ashtray is definitely working quite well though. They'd be working even better inside. These ashtrays, they'd be great to just have on my desk. Stuff like that kind of thing. Watch some anime while using Anime Girl Ashtray. Now that would be a big baller move. If I do say so myself, that would be a big baller move. Good smoke though. I'm enjoying my smoke. The American Spirit Black Cigarettes, they're pretty solid in my purse spinning. Definitely one of my favorite American Spirit Cigarettes. Definitely one of my favorite American Cigarettes as a whole. I like them. Thinking about going and getting another pack in all honesty. As a whole though, you know, I'm surprised. I was kind of thinking the wind was going to come along and wisp all of the ash out, but no, the high walls of the ashtray, like the walls are just high enough to make sure that doesn't happen. And it's, the ashtray is just big enough, so if you flick it in the center and whatnot kind of thing, where the the tiny bits and whatnot, they don't like come off everywhere and spread around the ashtray. Like I've got an outside ashtray I like to use a lot that I got from uh, Marlboro Rewards. And I really like the ashtray. It's a great outside ashtray. I just leave it outside all the time. But it's a little bit on the smaller side. The top of it is a little bit on the smaller side. It's very deep, but it's a little bit on the smaller side. And um, so when I'm like ashing, sometimes the ash doesn't actually go in the ashtray. It kind of flies out. Uh, which is not great to say the least, but that's not an issue with these ashtrays at all. I gotta admit, they're pretty, they're pretty good ashtrays. And I think they will hold up well over time as well. As long as I am careful about not rinsing them off in the sink and whatnot, like I, like I would with some normal glass ashtrays. Like with some normal glass ashtrays, I'll just stick them in the sink, use some dish soap and stuff like that kind of thing. You cannot do that with these ashtrays. I think like a wet rag and some dish soap just on the top and everything like that kind of thing is going to have to be what I go for. Well, I think there's only one more thing to find out about these ashtrays though. And that is how well my cigarette gets stubbed out on these ashtrays. So let's go ahead. Take those last couple hits. And now let's go ahead and just stub that out just like that. And as a whole, I'd have to say worked pretty well. Since this is glass, the glass cleans up really well. It doesn't really stick to it or anything like that. I just kind of scrub just a little bit and got all that off. The heat of the cigarette itself did not burn the paper under or like heat up and brown the paper under or anything like that kind of thing. So that's no worries. And of course, it, it actually just holds your cigarette butts just fine. As a whole, did a pretty good job of stubbing out. Oh man, gotta wipe my nose. My nose is running a lot today. It's like 75 degrees out here and I got myself a little bit of a summer cold. It is what it is. But, but uh, I'd have to say this, the, the ashtrays, they definitely do stub out your cigarettes a little bit better than us. So I certainly can't complain about that. And uh, the cigarette went out uh, very quickly after I stubbed it out in the ashtray as well. There's some ashtrays I have where I stub it out and it's just kind of hard to kind of just stub out kind of thing. It's just like the 
it's not very even, so you just kind of stub it out and then you're like at an angle and whatnot kind of thing. Some of them are kind of a pain, but since the bottom is so flat, it's just really easy to just stub out just like that kind of thing. As a whole, these are some good ashtrays. And I am very thankful to my brother for having been nice enough to give me some custom ashtrays for my birthday. And I have certainly enjoyed using the Anime Girl ashtrays uh, that I have with me today for the first time in today's video. And I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching as well. Was there anything else I wanted to say? I don't think there was. I think before I go ahead and end the video though, I'm gonna go ahead and take this butt out and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that out, just get all the ash out and everything like that. <sighs> Some ash just went in my face. That's okay. Just cleans up pretty good. Just kind of scrubbing it with the bottom of my uh, actual cigarette butt itself. Since it is glass, the ash is kind of just sticking to it just a little bit, but that's pretty normal. Nothing really uh, too big a deal by any means. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this one out as well. Just get all the ash out just like that. And just get all the ash of this one, uh, or in this one out as well. You know, I gotta make sure my Anime Girl ashtrays are clean. Gotta make sure, <laughs> gotta make sure I don't have no ash on my, uh, <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't have no ash on my waifus or anything like that kind of thing. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just joking about that. But, but, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Much better ashtrays than not. Let me know in the comments down below if after watching this video, y'all now want some anime girl ashtrays. Do y'all want some? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, where, I don't, I don't know uh, who my brother commissioned for these ashtrays and whatnot kind of thing, but, uh, y'all want some anime girl ashtrays uh figure it could be worth the time of trying to figure out how to get some in all honesty you know some good ashtrays i really like them and they're definitely a good addition to my ashtray collection to say the least i really like them well i think that's all i had to say i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where i used my new anime girl ashtrays for the first time let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the ashtrays do you guys like them do you guys not let me know in the comments down below and of course, also make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?